Hello everyone, myself Tanishq and today we have a very interesting topic that is ethical hacking. So we'll be talking about the basics of it, we'll be talking what is ethical hacking, then we'll be talking about what are skills you need in order to become an ethical hacker and once you become an ethical hacker, then what are types of work will you really have to do? Like will you be working on projects, what all will you be exactly doing? So let's talk about it. First, let's talk about what is unethical hacking. Okay, so without someone's permission, when you try to hack their website or you know you're able to crack something, uh, find out loopholes. Like let's say, okay, we have a particular website. Okay, like Yahoo, I think the case has happened. Like Yahoo had their website hacked, I think two times. So what happened is, first time the guy did it correctly. Okay, so the guy found out some loopholes and told to yahoo website okay these these are the loopholes that i have found out so i want you to actually you know pay me because that is right because the guy who has actually you know found out the loopholes he can sell all those data like once he has hacked the website okay so what all he gets is he gets the username and password of each and every person who has logged in onto yahoo think about it of uh, as just such, such as like facebook if facebook gets hacked then the person who has hacked facebook he knows the username and password of each and every person he can just look in the data and he can sell that to whomever he wants okay so on you know fraud websites and those kind of things he can sell all those data so instead what we do is if a person has hacked then you go to the company you tell them that okay uh, i have hacked this and i have found out some loopholes so you know you write them a good kind of proper mail in which there is no warning and you just approach them in a very systematic way so they say that okay fine we'll work on, on our loopholes and because you have told them so they are supposed to pay you now this is what happened the first time when yahoo the guy who had actually um, found out some loopholes to the yahoo the yahoo did this okay they paid um, the guy handsome amount okay second time when the same thing happened a guy i think the same guy or whatever you can uh, read it I'll, I'll link out the link somewhere in the description so second time the guy went to yahoo and said that okay i have again found out some loopholes and you know the same process right so this time what yahoo did i don't know like they were frustrated or what they just sent the guy a t-shirt of yahoo and they said that okay fine this time we can't do you okay we can't pay so obviously the guy got pissed and he sold so much of data on yahoo that yahoo went under a great loss because of this so actually and they were supposed to pay that guy okay because you can just i mean a guy has found out some loopholes and this is the damage that an that a hacker can do to your website once he found out loopholes he can get all the data data that you don't want everyone else to see right think about it if instagram or uh, something you know some popular website all the username and password are out what will happen right those people who purchase that they can do anything with your account right so this is what goes on in hacking so ethical hacking is basically authorized attempt to access unauthorized data right so whatever company are there like Google and Facebook they have hired set of hackers and they have told them to work on the website's loopholes right this is how ethical hacking works like the company itself t uh, tells the hackers that okay we are going to pay you and you are supposed to tell us our loopholes you are supposed to tell us what all things you need to work on so that we can be prepared for any kind of danger from unethical hackers a term that is widely used is penetration testing what it means is it basically tells you the vulnerabilities of the website like what all points and you know things where the website is weak and it can be hacked the languages that you need to learn in order to become a good ethical hacker would be php html javascript python sql and many other languages Thank you that was all for the video I really enjoyed making this um, do let me know what you think about the video in the comment section below um, like the video subscribe to the channel for similar kind of content I made I make IT related career paths videos in which I clear out the basic concepts of each and every path so that's it thank you bye bye see you again